Happy Friday, everyone. Good morning to you, and thank you for uh, being with me this morning again for morning prayer and devotion. We do have much to pray about uh, today, so we will get right into it. Uh, first of all, uh, let's uh, do continue to pray for uh, Kristen's cousin's family member who uh, lost their home last week uh, due to fire, and uh, they definitely need our uh, prayers to navigate through everything uh, that uh, that situation entails. Um, we're asking that you pray for traveling mercies for our youth group today, uh, as we will be traveling to St. Louis this afternoon uh, to, to take part in the final night of the North American Youth Congress. And um, we just need God's protection on the roads. And then, of course, tonight uh, we'll be traveling back. And then uh, tomorrow, I'm sure, uh, many, many thousands of people will be uh, leaving St. Louis and heading back uh, to their uh, cities. So let's pray God's protection upon everyone on the roads. Also, uh, let's pray for Carrie and Chris Gregson. Uh, they're having to fly back and forth to Los Angeles for Chris's treatments until his condition improves. Also, Tracy Powers uh, commuting an hour each way. Uh, to work each day until she can sell her home and this takes a huge toll on her overall health and so let's continue praying for her that she'll be able to sell her home and that she'll be able to shorten that daily commute. Uh, do pray for the North American Youth Congress this uh, today and this evening that there would be a great move of God again in these services and that our young people would be changed and mobilize for the work of God's kingdom. We need to pray for those who are on uh, the field today uh, in foreign nations, ministering the gospel, uh, so many global missionaries that come to mind today. And we have been praying specifically for the Tomyevs and Pattersons in Ukraine for quite some time, the Haitian family in Germany, um, we're praying uh, this month for the uh, the Gray family who are associate missionaries to Botswana and are currently in the United States for deputation. Pray for all of our missionaries who are home right now or who are stateside for uh, the purpose of raising funds to get back to the field. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Let's pray for them that they will be able to raise their funds quickly and uh, the, our general conference can be instrumental in getting them back to the field here within the next couple of months. Our North American missionaries uh, need your prayers. Next week is our annual North American missions retreat here for Missouri and uh, Arkansas districts, a combined event in Branson uh, next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And uh, we'll be doing the music once again for of that conference this year. So we ask your uh, prayers for us uh, that we would be led of the Spirit and be a blessing uh, in leading worship and pray for all of our North American missionaries here in Missouri that God would encourage them through this conference and that they would uh, be blessed going forward as they're doing the very, very hard work of raising up new churches uh, within our district. Those who are in nursing homes, need our prayers today uh, for encouragement and strength. We need to pray for all, for all the spiritual and family needs uh, that have been entrusted to us. Let's remember those who are new uh, to our churches, uh, those who are on the periphery, who are not yet locked in and really feel a part of uh, the church family. And let's pray for our churches that we can do better in that regard, that we can be very welcoming and sometimes it's not intentional, but we just need to think about uh, those who are new and how they might feel uh, in a, a group of strangers uh, trying to get connected to God. Uh, we need to pray for Jenny Perkins' sister, Lisa, uh, who has mental, emotional, and spiritual needs today. Uh, Brother Mark Perkins' uh, children, Matt and Michaela, Mark and Caitlin. We're praying for Cheryl and Chance's family and friends. She wants to see them return to the Lord and be saved. Debbie Biddick's family, Sister Pam's family, Mike and Judy's family, 
We have several who are battling addictions, including Dana, William, Frank, Charles, Dawson, Ashley, Alan, and Josh. Let's pray for Marcia and Britt's family, the Clark family, Annette and Dave, J.R. Johnson, Destiny, Jennifer and Brenda's family, Beulah Ziegler's granddaughter, Judy Johnson's grandson, Jean, Lexi, Armingo Job Corps students, Armingo RCF residents, one of the residents here at Mingo RCF, uh, Terry, uh, who I've been privileged to baptize in Jesus' name, is uh, weighing some heavy decisions for his life right now. We want to pray God's direction for him. Regina Marlin's family, uh, needing our continued prayers. Let's remember uh, Jessica and her family, especially her son Stephen, as they've been working through a family situation. She wants us to continue praying about that. She also has an unspoken need, as do Tracy, uh, Marsha, Lana, uh, Carmen, and the Pulliam family. Let's pray for our military personnel and their families again today, and many, many health needs on our list. Uh, of those, uh, Jessica O'Hara, Cheryl Lachance, Janet, Judy Williams' brother, Kristen Carey Gregson, Doug Seaball, Mara Sullivan, George Tibbs, Cheryl Ogden, Shirley Garner, Michelle Clark, Devin Huff, Robin Tibbs, Shirley Perkins, and Sheila Sadler, all needing a healing touch today. Uh, many children remain on our list, uh, needing our continued prayers. Let's pray for Lily Mitchell, uh, who has had a lot of problems with her foot after a injury uh, this past um, uh, spring and still has not recovered from that. Uh, several other children on our list today needing continued prayers uh, that we've been praying for for quite some time. Darla's granddaughter, Tammy's granddaughter, Emily, Elise, Bailey May, Jasmine, Baby Parker, Navy, Milo, Baby G, Lorelei, Jenna, Tucker, Abram, Abel, Arlo, Tano, Brantley, Elsie, Gus's grandson, and Abby. We're praying for uh, Grace, who's been recovering from oral surgery, and I trust that that's been going well for her. Carmen's cousin Shannon and James Rice have recently undergone surgery. We're praying for continued recovery for Seth, Kathy, Dalton, Jewel, Pastor David Kent, Pastor Chris Dew, Sarah Seaball, Michelle Strange's sister Cindy, uh, De uh, Deidre Searfoss, who's recovering from stroke, also recovering from stroke, Dwayne, Sheila, Joey, Tina's mother, Carmen's cousin Kelly, Evangelist Billy Huey, Buddy Randolph, Wayne Owens, Anthony Sifford, uh, all needing a continuation and completion of God's work in their situation. Melissa Petzold, recently um, free of cancer, uh, but having a precautionary surgery, I believe, and I don't know if she's had the surgery yet or not, but let's pray for her continued recovery today from uh, the situation she's been dealing with for quite some time. Renee, Chris, Sheila, and Sammy have mobility problems. Rose Brown, June Coffer, and Sister Judy's mom need healing of arthritis. We're praying for those with back problems today, including Pam's daughter, Jenny, Cindy Page, Carolyn Rogers, Becky Wilson, Rebecca Williams, Bob O, Britt Moore, uh, Melena Cummins, Lori Gravel, Michael Parrott, Johnny and Terry Nelson, and Brianna Williams. Those with diabetes needing a touch today, Kristen's cousin Grady, Lola Dickinson, myself, uh, Kristen's neighbor Natalie, J.R. Johnson, Christina, Becca, Rose, Evie, Emily, uh, Michael Williams and Anthony Williams, Steve Cummins, Tim Workman, Lloyd and Cindy Page, Titus Dornbach, Christian Carr, Brother Pulliam, Jimmy Warren, and Cheryl Chance. Let's believe for healing for those who are suffering from illness. Uh, Marty DeLott, Riley March, Sarah Stroop, and Carmen's sister, Tracy. Uh, we're believing for healing of the heart and associated conditions for Kenny Prenzel, Mike Sappington, uh, who is on the waiting list for a heart transplant, Joyce Fisk, Sister Patty Arnold, Janie Parrott's nephew Blaine, Kelly B, Cheryl Lachance, Brother Mark Morris, Michelle Strain's mother, Amy Dees, Jimmy Warren, Don and Betty Cossey, David Duggar, and Bud Taylor. 
those with liver issues uh, in stage four liver failure. We've been praying for Chase and then Sherry who's needing a liver transplant and Johnny Nelson's cousin who has cirrhosis of the liver. Uh, Marsha's neighbor, Carol, uh, Regina Marlin, Bob Perkins, all needing healing of shingles. Uh, Beth Wheatley, Marsha Moore, Marsha's co-worker's son, and Milena needing healing of migraine headaches. Venus has reoccurring severe headaches of unknown cause. Let's pray for those with lung issues, including Edwin Lopez, Robbie Northrup, Kendra Ortiz, Gary Shepard, Rebecca Rush, Brenda Yandel, Sister Arlene, and Gary Lee. Uh, those with stomach issues, Heather Spence, Savannah, Amber Kay, Aubrey, Natalie, Olivia, Ginger Williams, Irene, and Michael Perry. Uh, we need to pray for all those who suffer with Parkinson's disease. Uh, my father included in those. My mother-in-law, Beulah, also with Parkinson's and progressive supranuclear palsy. Marsha's mother-in-law, Vivian, Russ, uh, who is Carmen's uh, stepfather, I believe. Um, Kristen's friend, Matt, Tim Workman, uh, Joey Etheridge, all needing healing of Parkinson's disease. Darla Crane and Virginia Pride have uh, been continuing precautionary treatments after being declared cancer-free. We thank God for their cancer being in remission now and praying that their treatments go well to prevent recurrence. Those who are battling active cancer right now in their body include Michelle Strain's sister Cindy, Marsha Moore's friends, grandparents, Scott Lucia, Christy Smith, Claire, Alice, Sherry, Dwayne Lewis, Dennis Phelps, Heather, Jose Salinas, Diane Escher, Amy Dees, Cheryl, Gladys Sims, Ari Bowers, Donna Hayes, Jamie Joe's grandpa, Kristen's friend Betty, Michelle H., who has stage four pancreatic cancer, and Daniel Dickinson with thyroid cancer. Marsha Moore's cousin's brother-in-law uh, has cancer and has been put on hospice care. She's been asking that we pray for his salvation. Uh, let's remember those who suffer with dementia, uh, Johnny Nelson's mom, Melinda Cummins' mom, Vivian, and Kristen's friend's dad. We're praying for Ben Ramey's stepdad, Tom, who needs healing of memory deterioration uh, and also had a CT scan on Wednesday of this week uh, for a small cancerous tumor that he has. Uh, they're checking that for growth. Uh, Eddie Potts has an appointment coming up Thursday of next week at UAMS to see a general surgeon uh, who's going to evaluate his uh, wound, his hip infection, and then sending him on to orthopedic and plastic surgeons. We're praying that insurance issues will be worked out and that his uh, treatment will uh, be what is needed to uh, fix this situation. Let's continue to pray for Carmen's friend Donald, uh, who uh, came out of a coma recently after she added him to the prayer list, and he still is needing healing of his kidneys and for his blood pressure to come under control. Also, Oscar Smith has been in the hospital all week. Uh, his kidneys need to begin to function properly, and infection needs to be brought under control. And so we're believing today with his family uh, for him. Let's also pray for caregivers who are also affected uh, greatly um, by the afflictions and the illnesses that those in their family are dealing with. And so let's pray for them with the burden that they are under this morning as well. Good morning to each of you today. Uh, Sister Pam, good to see you with us today. Uh, Mom and Dad, Carmen, uh, Johnny with us today. Sherman, God bless you this morning. Um, we thank God for each of you. Marsha, good to see you with us today. And um, she does inform us that her cousin's brother-in-law who is on hospice has passed away and thanks us for praying for that family. So let's transition our prayers now to uh, praying for peace and comfort uh, for the family. Uh, Carmen gives us an update on Donald. Uh, he is stable and communicating more. Uh, he does need the healing of his kidney function. Uh, his heart has a blockage that needs to be cleared. Um, she reports that his family was able to be with him last week. 
which was good for everyone. The family is grateful to God for his miraculous work and for the body of Christ interceding on his behalf. So thank you, Carmen, for that important update this morning. Um, Johnny reports uh, that his cousin Julie has breast cancer, so we want to add Julie to our list. Um, also, uh, pray for Tracy and her family who are tra traveling this week. Um, Sister Pam reports that her daughter Jenny and family will be traveling uh, here tomorrow, so prayers are appreciated for them as they will be on the roads. Um, and then Marcia mentioning that she has a friend who has an urgent need of prayer. Uh, can't go into the details, but we will add that to our unspoken request this morning. So many new requests coming in as we prepare to go to prayer today. If you do have a, a prayer request or a praise report and you're watching this morning, uh, go ahead and add that to the list. Uh, Kristen informs us that Michelle H. has also passed away. Uh, she's been we've been praying for afflicted with cancer uh, also. So let's pray for that family. And I will uh, go ahead and tell you that I probably will not remember each and every one of these new ones this morning as they will not be right in front of me as we pray. Uh, but do help me lift up those needs to the Lord this morning as we go to prayer. Uh, good morning to you, Cheryl. Good to see you uh, this morning. And she's reporting that miracles are happening there in New York City. So let's thank the Lord for that today as well. Psalm 43 is where we're taking the text for our devotion this morning. Uh, Judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. O deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man, for thou art the God of my strength. Why dost thou cast me off? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? O send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let me say it again. Send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me unto thy holy hill and to thy tabernacles. Then will I go unto the altar of God, unto God my exceeding joy. Yea, upon the harp will I praise thee, O God, my God. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God. For I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. Some of the same language from Psalm 42 finds its way into Psalm 43, which reminds us that we often find ourselves praying the same prayer day after day, coming to God with the same need of his guidance and direction and deliverance. And this is symbolized for us in Psalm 43 and 3, where he says, Send forth your light and your truth. Let them guide me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. When I read that scripture, I think of uh, the lighthouse. The lighthouse is an inspirational structure for many of us. To sailors, it represents safety. To those in danger, it represents refuge. To those waiting for their loved ones, it represents hope. And when that light, that beacon shines forth, uh, those who see it are comforted and receive the direction and the guidance that they need. Everyone who seeks guidance can find it in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the light that shines in a dark place. He shines through the thickest of darkness today, and he can guide us through anything that we are facing in our lives right now. John chapter 1, which chronicles for us the miracle of the incarnation, uh, tells us that in Jesus was light, and that light is the light of the life of men. And I'm thankful today that uh, I have a lighthouse that's shining uh, into the darkness, into the storms, into the situations in my life that I don't have to despair, but I can receive guidance today 
uh, when we find ourselves in darkness, whether it's spiritual, personal, or even physical darkness, we need to let God and his word, as it is revealed to us in the Bible, be our lighthouse. Um, I know probably many of you, uh, like myself, have uh, traveled to the coast and perhaps you have uh, gone up into uh, a lighthouse and they are very simple yet very majestic structures and you know the salvation that God has provided for us very simple yet there's nothing like it hold to the light of God's word today trust in him with the things that we're praying about today God will give us his direction his wisdom today as we seek his face and as we believe him for each of these needs and let's do believe together as we head into another weekend uh, we need the touch of God and his direction today and so many needing comfort and help this morning let's just pray first of all for these who who have just passed away their families and pray that God would comfort them today and then let's go into the rest of our prayers Lord you see these families who are suffering right now the family of Michelle H uh, we're praying, God, your comfort for them today, uh, for uh, Marsha's need today, for this uh, one who has passed away that she's been having us pray for. We pray for that family today as well. God, that you would comfort their hearts and strengthen them in this time of distress. Lord, you are so good. Your mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. You see Marsha's urgent need today. God, move in that situation. Hallelujah. You are able. God, strengthen the caregivers today in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray, God, that you would be with those uh, who are on the roads throughout this weekend. So many traveling to and from NAYC and our group today going up for this final night and driving back late. Lord, we pray that you would let your angels go before us and surround us on every side and protect us as we travel. We pray for Tracy, who will be on the roads with her, families, her family over this next week. We pray, Lord, for Chris and Carrie as they're traveling back and forth to Los Angeles for his treatments. Lord, keep your hand upon them, upon Sister Pam's daughter, Jenny, and her family as they're traveling uh, down here to be with her this weekend. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, you are able. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Reach down right now, God. We trust you, Lord. We worship you. We praise your name. We thank you for your blessings. Thank you for another opportunity to pray today. We pray, God, for this one in Tennessee, uh, Kristen's cousin's family member uh, who have lost their home to fire. We pray, God, that you would comfort and strengthen their hearts and help them to work through all the insurance issues and navigate through all the things they have to deal with in this chaos that has suddenly come into their lives. We pray today, God, for um, our North American and global missionaries that you would bless and strengthen them today, God. Give them wisdom and direction. And most importantly today, I pray for their encouragement that you would strengthen them, God, as they find themselves many times strangers in a strange land. Hallelujah. Be with them, God. In Jesus' name, we pray, Lord, for those who are new uh, to their faith in our churches. Uh, Lord, that also find themselves in a strange environment, yet they know that you are working in their lives. Help them, God, to forge lifelong friendships uh, within the body of Christ that will uh, strengthen them and anchor them. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for those who are battling with drug addiction. God, that you would deliver them for every family member who is in despair today, who's away from you, for every prodigal, every backslider today, for every person that's weighing decisions in their life and needs your spiritual direction. Lord, let them see that you are that protection, that lighthouse for them today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Move, Lord, in our families, uh, that the families would be stronger that make up our churches. Uh, in Jesus' name, we pray for those who are in nursing homes, today, God, that you would be with them. Hallelujah. You are so wonderful, God. We pray, Lord, for those who have unspoken needs today. 
along with Marcia's need, we lift up Lana and Jessica and Tracy and Carmen and the Pulliam family. We pray for our military families today, those who have been deployed recently, those who are on foreign soil today protecting our freedoms and their families left behind, Lord, uh, dealing with the worry that comes with that separation. We pray that you would be with them today, moving all these health needs uh, that we've mentioned today, every physical need today, every emotional need, every mental need we lay at your feet. These children that we've mentioned today, God, we know that you uh, hold them in the palm of your hand, and there's nothing that's too hard for you. We believe for deliverance today. We believe for healing and recovery for those who have had surgery recently. Lord, for those who are continuing to recover from strokes and accidents and injuries, in Jesus' name, reach down, God, and strengthen these people today and their families, their caregivers. Hallelujah. We intercede on their behalf for those with arthritis and mobility problems, those who are in back pain today, those whose blood sugar is out of control, whose blood pressure problems are out of control today. We believe, Lord, for healing of illness, healing of heart problems and liver problems today. Lord, you control everything, and we know, Lord, today that you're the healer of our bodies. You took stripes upon your back, Lord Jesus, so that we could receive our healing. Hallelujah. You nailed, Lord, every grief to the cross, every sickness, every disease, every burden, every care. Lord, you took it all upon yourself. The very chastisement of our peace was placed upon you. And we give you the praise for that today. We can have peace because of your sacrifice. We can have joy, Lord, because of you. And we thank you today, Lord, for healing those uh, uh, with migraine headaches and shingles and liver issues, uh, those with stomach problems. Uh, hallelujah. You are well able. We believe for healing of Parkinson's disease. Uh, we believe for healing of cancer today. Hallelujah. Reach down and touch these, Lord, who are continuing to battle that disease, those who have been recently cleared of active cancer. We praise you for those answers, and we ask you, God, to continue to strengthen them as they go through precautionary treatments. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God, for those suffering with dementia, those with memory problems today. We pray for Donald, Lord. We thank you for the good report of his progress, that he is stable that he is communicating. This is a miracle, and we celebrate it today, and we believe for continued healing, healing of his kidneys and healing of his blood pressure issues today. You see Oscar Smith. We believe for his healing this morning as well. Lord, you are able to do anything. Hallelujah. We pray against that infection in his body. We pray for his kidney functions uh, uh, to begin to work properly again. In Jesus' name, we lift up Eddie Potts this morning, God. We pray that his appointment would go well next week. We believe for healing of this hip infection. And we pray this morning that by the time he gets to the doctor, that there would already be an improvement of this chronic condition. Direct those uh, doctors, Lord. Direct the surgeons uh, in making the right uh, choices in his uh, care plan. In Jesus' name, Lord, you see every need today that burdens our hearts. And we pray, God, that you would supply those needs according to your riches in glory. And in the meantime, God, help us not to become disoriented or disillusioned. Help us, God, to keep our eye focused upon the shoreline where you are giving us direction through your word. Hallelujah. Lord, you give us victory over everything. And we thank you and praise you knowing that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Lead us this day. Guide us this day. Bless the church services over the weekend and help us to do your work. And we give you the praise and glory for all of these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you today. Thank you for praying with me. We'll join together again on Monday morning. I hope that you'll all be able to do that with me. In the meantime, I pray you'll have a great weekend, and I'll see you back here on Monday.